Hey lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. From the title, you guys know that today's video is another swimsuit try and haul, but this time from Pretty Little Thing. I don't remember doing a Pretty Little Thing swimwear haul before, so I'm gonna say this is my first time, but don't hold me to it. On their website, they had some really cute pieces that I was really, really excited to show you guys, and um, I think you will like majority of them. There were maybe one, there was one item that I wasn't the biggest fan of and I'll show you guys why later but so far Pretty Little Thing did it for me I was really really happy and also yesterday it was the first day of summer in London well in England the UK so I am so happy that finally it's crazy like on the day of summer it was really really on the first day of summer it was really really warm and with blue skies and today there's blue skies again so hopefully it should remain that way and i can actually get some photos in the swimwear for you guys and post it up on instagram if you're not following me on there make sure you follow me because i'm always always posting content on there almost daily and um i do a lot of makeup videos on there as well so definitely check out my instagram so guys the first item that i tried on was a two-piece bikini the bottom is high-waisted and um the bikini top has got like the bone at the bottom that it definitely gives you that lift and it divides the two tatas you know so how sometimes we have larger tatas they squeeze together so this just gave like separated and gave it that lift and looked really really nice i don't know i think i'm gonna get a bigger size i got this one in a size 12 and i kept this on so also with pretty little thing if it comes with this on there do not cut it off because if you do you're not going to be able to get a refund or you, i don't think you're even able to exchange so just keep it on there same with the tag so with this one i'm going to exchange it for size 14 hopefully that will be a little bit better if not i'll get 16 if need be it's just for the tatas i had a lot of side boob spillage in this one and um, that's why i would get it bigger but i did like it i think the style of it was really really nice the bottoms i got them the bottom i got it in a 14 i think a 12 could have done but i get 14 for comfort and just because I, when it's high waisted i don't want it to be super 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 tight because then it looks really weird so yeah i will get the top in a 14 and then keep the bottoms the same but i really like this one however comma i would wear this one on its own because i don't think it's extremely revealing but you guys know me and i am cover up queen so um i have thought about it and sometimes when the cover up is like overwhelming it can take away from the um swimsuit that you're wearing and i totally get that and also not everyone likes like kimonos and stuff like that as a cover up so i got this sarong it's called a sarong I don't know if I'm saying it right, a sarong or a sarong. I got this. It's like a mini skirt basically that you just wrap on the sides. So you wrap it around and you tie it on the sides. I got this one in a size 14. Reason being, I know that my hips are quite broad and my bum is as well. So I wanted to get this a little bit larger so that at the back it will still cover up and it won't be like sitting on the top of my bum but yeah no it fit amazingly and i liked it i preferred it that way oh yeah also i'm gonna have these linked down below in the description so the next piece that i picked up was another two piece this one was white and high-waisted yeah but the the bikini so the top of the bikini was a bit Mm. where you tie it around your neck it goes really thick and i mean this is perfect if you have big tatas because i'm not gonna lie to you it definitely gave me the support that i needed because sometimes the string really does nothing for you but it's because of what i wore it with i would need a string bikini top and to be fair i wouldn't mind risking like the side weave spillage just because with this dress it would look so delectable but with this one i did like it like i said because it would provide you with the support that you need around the back slash waist it ties with a thin 
the thin um, strap but then around the neck it's much much thicker got this one in a size 14 I think I should have got a 12 um, now that I tried it on with this but I got because um, it was a mix and match I didn't get the exact same bottoms I got another bottom and it was also high waisted and I wore it with this right here I love this I think it's so delectable and I'm definitely definitely 100% keeping this you guys definitely see what I mean in regards to the bikini top had it been string it would have looked amazing in this I've got it in a UK 12 which is a Europe 40 and a US 8 um, I'm gonna have it linked I just love the fact that it's scooped down under the tatas and it was just it's just all types of delectable so up next is this white one piece and um, to be fair i forced it with this one this one i got it in a it came with cup sizes and the d cup was the d on its own i believe was sold out so i got it in a cd and because of that i got it in a size up so that hopefully the cup size would have gone up as well but it didn't i got it in a 14 cd and as you can see around the stomach area was a little bit baggy the stomach waist but even the cut part, I there was sad beef spillage and I did struggle a bit with it because it wasn't my size, obviously. So it was it was okay. I guess this one it wasn't all of that. It wasn't my fave. This is the one that I said at the start wasn't really my fave because the fit wasn't all of that. But then again, it was I I kind of knew that that would have happened due to me not even getting my size. But what I did, I got two different cover ups, two different styles, so I can show you guys. Um, you know what what it would look like with two different cover-ups i've got another sarong <laughs> say wrong it sounds so weird i've got another one this one has got like shells on the sides i wish i had got this the, the same style just a different color as the white one but they didn't have orange in the style as, as the first one so i just got this one i got it in a size 14 for the same reason but i think this one i could have definitely got in a size 12 because it's quite long and then yeah i wore it with that it was okay it wasn't really giving me vibe it was just giving me mediocre it wasn't it's not anything that if i saw someone wearing i'd be like oh my god i love that it, it wasn't i love it was hmm, you just see them and nothing comes from it you know but with this this one was a little bit better because if i saw this um kimono i would be like oh my god i like this it is quite sheer and see-through and i could definitely see myself wearing this with jeans and yeah jeans and a white a white fitted top cute i think this will look really cute i love how it's got frills pretty much everywhere it's just really extreme and that's what i like i like it when i cover up i like it when uh the one piece of the bikini is like mute cute and then the cover-up is doing a lot. I love an extreme cover-up. So yeah, I think these two work much better than the orange. So up next is this fast tie waist one piece. It's just black and white. It's got a low back and the tie around the waist is quite long and exaggerated so that you can wrap it around several times like I did. It really cinches in the waist and it makes it look mwah, delectable. With the with the top i did have a little bit of side boob spillage well not too much because this is quite high up the underarm it covers the side boob spillage and i'm here for that i would see the bikini and i'll think okay this is cute but i wouldn't think mm. knowing me you guys know i had to pair it up with a cover-up and when i wear anything that's black and white contrast i always think of a red lip or a purple a bold purple lip i always think of those two lips and usually i gravitate towards a red lip of super bright popping red lip and for that reason i got this red cover up and it's so cute on it cuffs at the wrist right here and i think it really really complements the swimsuit because the swimsuit on its own isn't all of that and um yeah the contrast with the red it's delectable i cannot wait <laughs> now that the weather is 
really really nice i cannot wait to get photos in these for you guys it's gonna be so 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 lovely with the swimsuit i got it in a size 12 which i was super shocked like this one fit like a dream and then with the kimono i got that in a 12 as well because the kimono is a the tiniest bit oversized and then my fave <laughs> is this one right here so this is like the snake print swimsuit it's got orange brown and bright pink on it and i live this one is in a size 14 and a uk 14 is a usa 10 and an eu 42 this one fit amazingly again on the underarm under the arm was high up so it covered side boob spillage this one was even better than the last one which was the black and white contrast it fit like a glove the back is slightly lower and it's also got an exaggerated tie waist so you can wrap it around and it cinches the waist and i like that i like how it just makes the waist look cute so it really brings out the hips the curves and the tie ties everything just played its role perfectly i didn't have a cover up for this one because i feel like with this one you don't necessarily need one um just because after there's no side beef spillage the tie ties stay in place however if you wanted to you can just wear a white one and then last but definitely not least is this one right here this is like a knitted dress it's backless but it fits really really nice i do like it it's definitely like summer vibe ish and i'm here for it ties going back like this and it is like a mini dress i got this one in size medium so it comes with a small large and medium i got it in a, me a small medium large i got a medium there's not much to it it just speaks for itself it's just a knitted beach dress and i like it that just brings us to the end of that haul i hope you guys enjoy the pieces I feel like Prelude thing even did a little better than ASOS and because of that I'm gravitating to like other brands because to be fair like I never thought of Prelude things somewhere I never thought like to, to try it out or anything but now that I've gone to have a look they've got some really really nice pieces I've got more hauls coming I've got one from In The Style, Boohoo in the style boohoo and another brand and fashion over i've never done fashion over somewhere before so i've got a fashion over somewhere haul coming and we'll see how that goes i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts or which one was your favorite you guys really really liked my last hairstyle um thank you so much to be fair guys i've been like on the protective styling wave i'm kind of tired of the wigs for now and especially as i've started to work out i want to look cute okay i just don't always want to be wearing these like horrible wig braids under and just working out that way you know whatever i just want to know that my hair is done i could be bare faced and i still look presentable so that's why i've kind of gravitated to it and i actually just like how it looks also i've got a video coming up with this hairstyle and how i achieved it so it's gonna be litty just check it out but yeah this is the bag and i feel like it just it's just nice you know and i've done it going up into a ninja bun but yeah see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.